Hi everyone, this is Manoj, your German trainer. I welcome you all to Insightful German and Insight into German Grammar. In my this session, I am going to take you through the indefinite articles, the uses of indefinite articles and the omission of indefinite articles, where to omit, where not to omit. So let's move on. As we are aware of, the indefinite articles are identified as ein, eine, ein in nominative, einen, eine, ein in accusative, einem, einer, einem in dative, and eines, einer, eines in genitive. The indefinite articles in English, a or an, is very simple. The German equivalent ein not only means a an, but also one. The numeral one when counting is eins. Say eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. But when followed by a noun, ein in both senses takes all the above endings. The distinction in meaning between one and a an being made by stressing the former and the ending being determined by the gender and the case of the noun. So, for example, in this case, sie hat nur einen Sohn. Sie hat einen Sohn. There is, of course, no fourth column with plural forms in the upper paradigm unlike for der, die, das because by definition a an cannot be followed by a plural noun. Omission of the indefinite articles. The indefinite article is sometimes omitted in German where it is used in English. It is usually omitted after the preposition als. For example, er hat seine Untertasse als Aschenbecher benutzt. It is commonly omitted after the preposition ohne. Er ist ohne Hut in dieser Hitze spazieren gegangen. It is omitted before professions after copula verbs but is also inserted when the profession is preceded by an adjective. Er ist Lehrer. Er ist ein sehr guter Lehrer. Er ist Vater geworden. It is omitted before nationalities after copula verbs but is always inserted when the nationality is preceded by an adjective. Er ist Deutscher. Er ist Berliner. Er ist Müncheraner. Er ist Kölner. Er ist ein echter Deutscher. It is omitted in various standard expressions. Say, das ist schade, Kopfschmerzen haben, Auge um Auge, es ist viertel vor acht. I hope the session was useful for you. So thank you for watching and for more videos, click on subscribe button, press the bell icon for regular updates. I'll be back with my new session. Till then, have a great day.